Hi Capricorn, Rose Bennett here from Mind Body Soul Balance and this is your mid-month reading for May 2018 from about the 15th to the 31st yeah so it is a general reading take from it what you will if you want a personal reading with me attune to your own energy and circumstances link is on this video and in the description box below don't forget there is a special this month so for May you can get a 30 minute reading with me for just $50 yeah you know what to do all right, so your mid-month reading is all about giving you some specific guidance for the next two weeks, yeah? So first up, we're going to be looking at the Goddess Guidance um, Oracle, yeah? And uh, I am filming outside, so we've got the afternoon sun coming in at the moment, yeah? Oh, three cards want to come out for you straight away. I'm smiling because it's come out for just about every single sign, right? Is Butterfly Maiden Transformation. Uh, it's either come out in this deck or another deck, yeah, but uh, still going through a period of transformation. A lot of the star signs have been going through this since March, mid-March, yeah, since we had the new moon then. And uh, it's about going through change. It is going to bring blessings. Sometimes when that happens, you've got to let go of the old to let the new in. It can be challenging, but uh, yeah, just know it's going to lead to a good outcome. Ah, you pulled Sarasvati, the art. So... It's about engaging creative pursuits um, and expressing yourself through creative pursuits. Often this comes up when we need to balance our masculine and feminine energies and stand more on our creative emotional side brain. Yeah. Oh, and Athena, trust your inner wisdom. So if you've got any decisions in the next two weeks, make sure that you go and uh, look within. Look within in terms of trusting your own guidance. Yeah. Um, you have all the answers you already seek within you. All right, what else do you need to know, Capricorn? Mm. You pulled solace, bodies of water. So getting near water is going to be very beneficial in terms of, uh, one, balancing and grounding yourself, relaxing, just a deep state of relaxation, some quiet time, yeah. But also about tapping into your inner wisdom, um, particularly in terms of transformation. It's just going to help you release and let go. Mm. And just know that uh, you pull Rihanna Sorceress, so you have everything within you to create the magical future that you desire, right? It's um, whether it's love and romance, but overarchingly transformation. Unless we'll see what comes out in the Crystal Oracle, right? But uh, overarchingly, it seems to be about your life path, life purpose. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Crystal Oracle. And see what you need to know. What does Capricorn need to know? Oh. Three came out for you then. Uh, under transformation, you've got Morganite relationship healing. So if you've been going through some struggles in your current relationship, there is going to be coming some healing coming your way and, and it will transform your relationship. Um, in terms of relationship healing, if you're a single, it's about cleaning up the past stuff so that you can step into the future whole. Mm. Under Sarasvati, so some of the ways in which, because you've already got bodies of water, yeah? You've also got the art, so the way in which that you're going to uh, find some fun, joy and adventure in your life in the next two weeks is to tap into your... Uh, meditative quiet state because you've got amethyst meditation get creative yeah and also get new bodies of water particularly if you need to do any more relationship healing in terms of heart healing oh, you've got them all coming out you got art you got music spirit quartz uh this is really tapping into spirituality but tapping into you having that quiet time relaxation music's gonna be a great healer a soother for you in terms of stress Mm. Okay, under bodies of water, you've pulled uh, labors, luxury, past life. Got to be honest with you, come out for just about every single sign. So whatever's going on in the universe in the next two weeks, there's a lot of past life memory stuff coming up. Particularly seeing as you've got the relationship healing card as well. It's just going to be old stuff you need to work through and let go of and not take to heart. Mm. 
and a sorceress, you've also pulled Master Teacher card, which is the ancient wisdom crystal, which means you came through to this world with an inner knowing of things where you just go, I don't know how I know that, but I just know it, yeah. Uh, it can also mean that you have the capability and capacity to be a spiritual healer on any level, whether that's through your writing, your spoken word, through teaching. Um, also trust your inner wisdom, yeah. Now let's pull you some specific guidance from the uh, Energy Oracle deck. What does Capricorn need to know? Hmm. Okay. Under transformation, you pull financial constraints. So part of your transformation, apart from not only relationship healing, can be to do with your finances. Yeah. Turning things around can also be giving you some anxiety because you've also got the storm warning card, right? But it's sitting under the way in which to cope with this level of stress. If this is what you're going through, not going to apply to everybody, is to get creative, listen to music, meditate, get out in nature. Yeah. Storms pass, just know that. Oh, okay. So part of the relationship healing can be from being uh, cheated on in the past. Goddamn awful when it happens. Goddamn awful. Just know that's not about you. That's about them. Um, you could also be it's sitting under inner wisdom. So the other side of this in terms of transformation is deceiving yourself about what it is you really want to do that lights you up. Um, and not following that path so perhaps you're uh, constrained in a role that you're not that happy with when you know you want to be happy doing something else um, I'm not to be honest getting that this there is deceit in a relationship it's either deceit with self wearing a false mask about what it is that you truly want and desire or it is uh, for those of you that have been unfortunate enough to be cheated on in the past yeah it's about doing that relationship healing and letting it go All right, what else do you need to know, Capricorn? Hmm. Have patience with yourself. It's sitting under bodies of water and it's sitting under past life, so it's about the healing that you're going through. Yeah? Just be gentle with yourself. And one more. Let's pull you one more. Hmm. Yeah. Not surprised this has come out for some of you. Still healing from a broken heart. Yeah. Just to be patient with yourself, kind of gentle. You've got all the messages here on how to cope with that. Um, trust your inner wisdom when you let new people into your life about making the right choices for yourself in terms of love, but also taking that time to heal. Yeah. All right. I'm going to pull you crowning energy from Quinian Oracle. Um, hopefully you can see that with the afternoon sun. I can't remember if I mentioned we're filming outside, so if you can hear birds, yes, <laughs> sitting amongst the birds. All right, what does Capricorn need to know? That one is so one to flip out for you. So you pulled a sweeping sister willow. So beautiful. Look how contemplative that is. She's got the most gentle look on her face too. Touch you one more time. And what it says, Capricorn, is Sweeping Sister Willow gently brings you healing for forgiveness and release of old pain now. Oh my god, how on point is that? Let her branches gracefully sweep any sadness and pain from your heart and soul. Your time for greater inner freedom is dawning, and the cleansing sadness and healing of forgiveness is the pathway to that greater freedom now. You deserve this freedom and you are swiftly becoming ready to gift it to yourself with the help of Kun Yin. Forgiveness is a way to raise your vibration by shedding old energies that drain you and prevent you from having all of your power available to you now. It is a chance to free yourself from suffering and empower yourself. Sweeping Sister Willow guides you to forgive others and yourself abundantly and freely now. You may be very aware of your own need forgiveness all this may come as a surprise to you in which case be open to hearing the truth of who and what needs to be forgiven and released from willow mother from deep within your own heart it may be a small incident from when you were a child or a significant experience 
that you have put to one side in an effort to carry on in your life. This approach has been admirable, and yet there is always time to confront, forgive and move on, not just in mind, but genuinely in the body. This oracle indicates that you are in the process of forgiving others and that you also need to remember to forgive yourself for being human and needing to grow and learn just like everyone else. You do not have to be perfect and sometimes in the forgiving of ourselves is that we become most able to forgive others too. We suffer less from harsh judgments which do not feel good to our heart and drain our soul forces. Instead, we experience more kindness, sweet nurturing from sweet in Sister Willow Kun Yin in her form of forgiveness and healing and enjoy more peace of mind. Forgiveness is a powerful spiritual practice that helps you disconnect your energy circuits from people, places, situations and memories that can drain your power from the present moment and slow down your spiritual growth and the physical manifestation of your heart's desire and soul purpose. At present, you are growing spiritually and you need your power in the present moment to fuel your process. Like surfing a wave, you are about to be lifted. So forgive with sincerity and wisdom and know that it just doesn't mean that you're committing future abuse. It means you're ready to have your own power in the present moment. You have compassion and you allow the universe to direct the learning of every being on this planet. You let go of thoughts of revenge and you free yourself from the past. Wow, such a powerful message. There's actually a healing practice here and I think it'd be worthwhile doing it. It says sit comfortably, close your eyes and sense or feel that you're within your heart chakra. Imagine this is this beautiful space with a body of quiet reflective water and masses of sweeping willow trees dipping over the water's edges. In this beautiful space within your heart, you become aware of Kun Yin sitting near the largest willow tree, her hair and robes gently swept by a light breeze. As she smiles at you and raises her hands in healing mudra, a soft breeze of healing energy flows into your heart, helping you open and release. Allow her energy to flow through your heart and become aware of the cords of energy extending from your heart, connecting to people, places, things, and memories from this and other lifetimes. Say aloud, I now accept the loving assistance of Kun Yin as I release any cord or attachment that is draining my energy. To all those with whom I have unfinished business through time and space, I now declare, I acknowledge, you are a soul learning just as I am. And I forgive you. If I have hurt you in any way, please forgive me. I now choose to free you and free myself from the past. May we all be blessed with Kun Yin's mercy and grace, with the kind healing power of sweeping Sister Willow. So be it, Om Mani Padme Hum. Visualise or intend that her light in your heart becomes like a white fire of energy, burning away any cords or attachments that can now be released. Visualise or intend the white fire in your heart flows down through your navel and infuses it with power, energy and vitality. Imagine the cords snapping back into your energy field, no longer leaking your power out of your aura. Close your hands at your heart centre in prayer mudra with the palms together. Breathe deeply in and out. Feel the peacefulness of sweeping sister willow in your heart. When you are ready, open your eyes. Wow, that was gorgeous. All right. And to finish off your reading, Capricorn, there is an affirmation which says, Beloved Kun Yin, sweeping Sister Willow, with gracefulness and surrender into love, you forgave great transgressions against you because you chose wisdom and spiritual growth and you did not hide your anger. You simply chose to let it go and find peace and compassion in your heart. You are free to ascend into bliss. Please bless me that I may draw upon my own wisdom and spiritual strength to forgive and empower myself now. I allow sweeping Sister Willow to gently wash my heart clean. Oh, Manny paid me hum. Wow. What a beautiful reading. So powerful, Capricorn. Oh, my goodness. If you like this reading, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome. Love you a bit. Don't forget, if you want a personal reading with me, attuned to your own energy and circumstances, 
you know what to do. Links on this video and below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Thank you.